Kemper Arena. Bobby, the pokes were smoking today. They were good today, Uzi. They've been good all season long, and this is Oklahoma State's time of the year when they usually play good defense. Here's a guy who sets up the offense but also played good defense today, Andre Owens, Oklahoma State's point guard. Big victory for you guys. I'm pretty sure you're excited about what happened. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, this is the, the third time of the season that we've played them. Uh, we beat them the first time in Stillwater and uh, went down to uh, Norman, and they got a victory on us. And uh, tonight was the Rumble match, and uh, we were, we came out ready to rumble. <laughs> and you did. Let's show you some highlights of what happened. And this was the, really the big spurt of the game, the second half when you guys, Andre, went on a 10 to nothing run, long pass off the steal. I think you made that to Randy. Then we're going to see you take a three-pointer and bury it. They dared you to shoot, and you did. Yeah, uh, you know, I've missed a couple during the game, and uh, I think that, la that, that, that very first one that I hit, I was in rhythm. And, uh, you know, it felt good when it released from my hand. And it felt good, I'm sure, watching Big Country go in there and do damage on Kelvin Sampson's team. 28 points for Big Country. You guys are in the Big 8 tournament finals against Iowa State. I'm sure you expected Kansas, but you're going to be playing Iowa State. What do you think of that? Well, we know that uh, Iowa State is obviously a, a very good team. You know, they came in tonight and uh, beat a very good top uh, five team in, in the country, who, which was Kansas. And uh, they got some great uh, shooters. And then they got some uh, nice uh, inside game going from uh, Lauren Meyer. Uh, he, he's been playing very well. And, uh, you know, we just have to focus on what we have to do and uh, play good, solid defense and limit them to some of the things that they're good at doing. Hey, Andre, good luck in the finals tomorrow. We'll have more. Oh, man. One team. It was exciting in our newsroom, too. Yes, it was. <laughs> we had Lots people on, on, both sides. on both sides of the fence. And uh, I'll tell you what, they were throwing snowballs today, <laughs> weren't they? Our state was guaranteed of having a team in the final of the Big 8 basketball tournament in Kansas City when both OU and OSU won first-round games last night. They would meet today in the semis. They did, and here's what happened. Oklahoma coach Kelvin Sampson. Boy, he does love that blue shirt. He was wearing it, hoping it'd bring him luck against the Cowboys. Neon Dion Barnes was the bright baby today as he takes the outlet from uh, John Anches for the Deuce. The Cowboys replied handily, and their seniors relied handily on their senior. That's Scott Pierce. He had a great day. The Sooners hung in there for the first half. Ryan Miner here. He hits the three. That made it, he had 24 points and made it a full point game. But not for long, freshman Jason Skyer turns around and he uh, gets it back to a seven point game for the Cowboys. Then in the second half, it was all Oklahoma State. Big Country gets the turnaround jumper here. He had 28 points. And then he gets a great lob pass from Owens to increase the lead to 12. Soon he's got Miner down low for some tough buckets. But what enough, he fouled out late. Cowboys went on to win it 74. To 58. Our man in Kansas City is Sean Kemmer. On the floor of the Kemper Arena. Boy, there's never a dull moment in the Big 8, is there, Sean? Great Bedlam matchup. I guess you could call this Bedlam Part 3. The OSU Cowboys winners by 16, and I guess the final margin seems pretty comfortable, but the first half was fairly close. Joining me now, the head coach of the Oklahoma State Cowboys, Eddie Sutton. Coach, thank you for joining us, and it seemed like the turning point came the start of the second half. You guys came out, you scored 10 straight points. Was that a reflection of something you said at halftime, or was it just better execution? Well, I thought we were in good shape uh, in the first half and had a chance to get in it, well, maybe with the uh, nine or ten point lead and we kind of went stale offensively and you have to give Oklahoma some credit they had some momentum there uh, going their way and uh, they cut it to two points 36 34 and I told our squad that we had to go out and reestablish ourselves uh, at the beginning of the second half and we did that we ran a special scoring play to start the, the uh, intermission or after intermission and got the ball to Bryant which we did a good job all day getting the, the ball into him he had 28 points and 12 rebounds Reeves with the shot there. Pretty unstoppable when you get it into him down deep. Yeah, Devin, you know he's a force in the Big A. He was a candidate for the Big A player of the year, but so was Ryan, but he just had a great game, monster game. And there's Miner going in over everybody. I know you were a little frustrated early guarding him, and uh, but I mean, you made up for it offensively. We're even going to see a shot by you here late in the half. I believe right here banking it in. Eight points for you today. Yeah, you know, I had a good game. You know, the teammates gave me, got me the ball in position where I could score, and that's all I can ask. You guys, Oklahoma State with about a 10-point lead. Deion Barnes hit this shot to cut it to two at halftime. When Eddie looked up high, Keonti, I guess that was like, okay, let's get a good start in the second half. And you guys went on a 10 to nothing run. That really put the game away. Yeah, definitely. Our defense keeps us uh, in the game at all times. And, you know, we get transition buckets like Randy just got right there. And that just makes us real hard to beat. 
And Andre Owens stepped up and hit the three-pointer here. And then, after Scott Pierce also hit a shot, Big Country went on a tear. And this was a nice dunk inside. Oh, yeah. He kind of went up over those guys there. I think it was Perry <laughs> underneath there. <laughs> he did. Kelvin Sampson frustrated as Oklahoma fell behind, fell behind. The Sooners really couldn't shoot. And Oklahoma State played great defense when Anches fed Ernie Abercrombie. That cut OSU's lead to eight. But it never got any closer than that. And Big Country took over. I think he had something to prove after the Kansas game last week. Yeah, definitely. He had a down game. He knew it. He knew he didn't play well. So he came back tonight, and he's been proving it, you know, night in, night in. After that, that he is one of the powers in the Big Eight. Bryant Reeves with 28 points and 12 rebounds. Oklahoma State wins it. The final score was 74 to 58. Now let's listen to some other comments besides Keontes after the game, starting with Cowboys head coach Eddie Sutton. Sending the winner into the tournament championship game tomorrow. Calvin Sampson, they go on Eddie Sutton's crew from Oklahoma State. Bryant Reeves came out strong in this game. 11 first half points. He was matched by the other player of the year in the Big 8, Ryan Miner. Watch this effort by Miner. He'll miss the three, but keep your eye on him because he'll eventually get the third put back. Miner with 16 first half points, but Oklahoma State with a 36-34 lead at intermission. OSU used an 8-0 run early in the second half. Andre Owens, the steal, gets it to Randy Rutherford, who had just five points in the game, yet OSU won it. That's because they got some help off the bench. Terry Collins pops the bucket and the foul. He had 10 points. It was a 13-point OSU lead. OU tried to come back. Miner with the follow. He fouled out with a minute 30 to play, 24 points, 12 rebounds. John Anches on the drive as OU put on a little bit of a spurt. Anches with 11. And then Ernie Abercrombie. From Anches, look at this beautiful assist. 12 points for Abercrombie. It was an eight-point game, but OSU's Brian Reeves said, enough of that, get out of here. Watch the slam dunk, the big guy, 28 points, 12 rebounds. Oklahoma State wins it 74 to 58. Joining us now from Kansas City via satellite is TV Dines' Bill Tegans with more on this afternoon's Bedlam Battle. Bill? Thank you, Ed. Again, as you said, 74-58 the final. We got the big guy to hang around, Brian Reeves. The country, it's uh, always good, I guess, especially to get into the finals, but to knock off Oklahoma, your big rival. Well, yeah, it's uh, definitely good to beat OU, and, you know, it's uh, really good to be in the finals. We was here last year, and Nebraska was able to get us, and, you know, this game tomorrow means a lot to us as, uh, you know, the four seniors because this is the last chance we're going to have to win the Big 8 tournament, and, you know, we're going to come out ready to go. You know, a few days ago, everybody was going, gosh, what happened to country? You have one bad game and everybody jumps on your case. I guess if there was any question about it, you answered all of that today. Oh, well, yeah, you know, I had a, a very poor game at Kansas, and, you know, I had to come back and play well. You know, I didn't play as well as I could yesterday. You know, I come out today and was able to get on a roll uh, to start the game off, and everything just kept going my way. Lauren Meyer's playing very well for Iowa State, so that'll be a pretty good matchup tomorrow. Oh, he's playing definitely well. I didn't get to see all the game today. I watched a little bit of the first half and watched the game yesterday. And, you know, I think he's having an excellent tournament. You know, it's going to be a tough challenge for me tomorrow to be able to go in and shut him down. Well, Country, thank you for hanging around. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks a lot. In 28 points, 12 rebounds. Good day's work for Bryant Reeves. The Cowboys win it. Back to you, Ed. Thank you very much, Bill. We'll hear from you again on our late edition. Now, before we show you that Kansas-Iowa State finish, some shocking news out of Arizona. All-American guard Damon Stottlemyre and teammate Ben Davis have been ruled ineligible for the moment for alleged involvement with an agent. Well, the senior trio has become a quartet. Hurl Beecham joins Messrs. Meyer, Hoiberg, and Mikulik, and they're playing sweet music. Beecham's long-range bombs have blasted the clones into the championship game. Lauren Meyer's been blasting everyone inside, and now he'll try to blast big country. As usual, Bryant Reeves has played huge for the Cowboys. Country, now in his senior campaign, has been to these finals before, but he has never gone back to Stillwater with the crown. Will it be the Cowboys or the Cyclones with the group hug later today? It's Iowa State and Oklahoma State. They play for it all, and it's coming up next. <music> Phillip 66 proudly presents the Big A Conference Basketball Tournament Final. Welcome to Kemper Arena in Kansas City. I-35, very busy today. From the north, they come from Iowa to cheer on their Cyclones. And from the south, from Stillwater, up I-35, Oklahoma State brings a strong contingent as well. Kemper Arena sold out today to watch two teams with identical records. The surprising Iowa State Cyclones taking on the second-seeded Oklahoma State Cowboys. 
Hello again, everybody. I'm Dave Armstrong. The last time that Iowa State was in the tournament final, Fred Hoiberg was a ball boy. That's how long it's been for the Cyclones, while the Cowboys have been to the final three of the last four years. Working alongside my partner this year, Dave Logan. And Dave, as we get set for this one, it's going to be a real battle in the paint. Let's start with Lauren Meyer. Well, an outstanding athlete, Lauren Meyer, really has stepped up his game late this season. The finale in the regular season against Nebraska, he scored over 30. You see his numbers yesterday against Kansas, 20 points and 12 rebounds, 25 and 15 in the opening round against Missouri. Lauren Meyer has basically taken Iowa State on his shoulders with the inside game. He's going to be banging big country today. Uh, and that's a big match, obviously. Yeah. Big country has had an outstanding season and an equally impressive uh, postseason. Uh, you see his numbers yesterday, 28 points and 12 rebounds. And I, I thought Oklahoma State yesterday sensational, waiting for big country to establish position. Very patient offensively. It'll be an exciting matchup today with those two players. You think this one will be defensive, though? Oh, I think it's going to be a defensive grind them out kind of game. Not a lot of pretty offense, not a lot of transition, but some outstanding man-to-man -man defense, both these teams. So turn the color off your set. Watch this one in black and white. It'll be a real throwback as we throw it over to Al Wallace in Studio 66. Thanks, Dave. Studio 66 has been in the house all weekend long, but as you can see, finally, we've got some pregame company. This is the tournament championship trophy, and in about two hours, either Iowa State or Oklahoma State will be lugging it home. 21 teams have already qualified for the NCAA tournament. The winner today will get an automatic bid as well. Four Big 8 women's teams have already qualified for the women's NCAA championships, including Colorado, the number one seed in the Midwest. Kansas, the number seven seed in the Mideast. Oklahoma, the seventh seed in the East. Oklahoma State, the 12th seed in the East. Who will the men's tournament champion be? Oklahoma State or Iowa State? And the mayor, Fred Hoiberg. The title game, the tip-off, coming up next. Big A basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company, makers of high quality super clean gasoline and Trop Arctic premium motor oil. By Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. And by Southwest Airlines. Flying the low fare airline is just plain smart. Football can be exciting. But truck football? Now that's a rush. <laughs> so if you're going to tackle it, you better get a hold of the right equipment. A 1995... Hoiberg, Julius Mikulik, Lauren Meyer up front. Jason Kimbrough, Hurl Beecham are the starters in the backcourt. Beecham's had a tremendous tournament. Tim Floyd guiding the Cyclones in his first year taking over for Johnny Orr. Said it's hard for us to play OSU straight up. Country really presents a challenge. Well, let's talk about those Cowboys. Scott Pierce, Terry Collins are the forwards. They've been getting a lot of scoring because of the concentration on the big guy, Reeves. Rutherford's had a slow tournament so far. He could explode today. And Andre Owens is the point guard doing a great job for Eddie Sutton, who is celebrating his 59th birthday today. And now let's take a look at Dave Logan's four keys to the game. Well, Iowa State's got to continue to shoot the ball well from the outside. Obviously, against this Oklahoma State defense, nothing easy is inside. So the Cyclones need to continue to be hot from that perimeter. And also, Oklahoma State, as they have done in the first couple of games, and really done throughout the course of the season, that pressure defense. They force you into taking bad shots. They can test every single attempt that you try to make, especially in the half court. He's the game brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. If you've driven a Ford lately, you see the series record. Iowa State does lead, but the Cowboys have won six straight in this series, including both meetings this year. A tight one in names, 71-69 Cowboys. And in Stillwater, Julius Mikulik's team really fell apart in the second half. Losing 77-49, the Cyclones hit just 17% of their shots in that second half. They'll try to erase that memory quickly here today. It'll be the Cowboys in their white uniforms and the Cyclones in red. As we talked about earlier, if you like good, hard-nosed, man-to-man defense, you're probably going to like what you see today from both teams. Country's got it low on the blocks. That's a chip shot for him. Free pass from Scott Pierce, much like we saw yesterday, as Oklahoma State able to take advantage of big country establishing position, the rotation of the basketball, and the easy shot. Lauren Meyer takes country outside and nails one. Ho ho! Talking about guys in a roll. Lauren Meyer is feeling good offensively and wants to force Brian Reeves to step outside of it. Eddie 
Sutton looking for his first tournament title. Tim Floyd Cyclones looking for their first ever. Last time Iowa State in the finals in the 86 season. They went back to back years, 85 and 86. This is their third trip to the finals. And a travel on the part of Hurl Beecham. Scores even, turnovers are, turnovers are even, and both teams have hit their only shots. As you watch Iowa State set in their half-court defense, Fred Hoiberg on Terry Collins will be the help man most of the time with Brian Reeves down low. Rutherford for three! Oh, that's huge for the Cowboys! And there's a guy that Eddie Sutton wants to see get cranked up a bit. Randy Rutherford has struggled from the floor in the first couple of games, but as you mentioned, very explosive at any time to put big numbers up. Three for 15 from three-point land until he hit that one here today. And now Earl Beecham, he's been on fire. Cooled a little bit there. Earl Beecham has been the real surprise for the Cyclone, scoring 25 against Kansas yesterday. Three seconds. The country hanging around inside the paint too long. He credited his teammates yesterday with doing a nice job of getting him the basketball at the right time and in the right spots. Really let him work from block to block and once he got his man on his hip, got him the ball. Hoiberg had a rough first game against Missouri, turned it around yesterday against Kansas. He had 20 in that contest. Meyer, he's been playing strong, blocked, but a foul on Reeves. Both coaches said they've got to keep their big men in the game today. And Lauren Meyer presents some problems because he is athletic enough to step around bigger players. Not a lot of contact. I thought Brian Reeves had pretty good position. Collins over the top with the block, but Laura Meyer will get two free throws. He really, you look at him and you say, well, here's a big, strong guy that plays inside, but he is athletic enough to make some plays that you just don't think he should. Sutton concerned about the Cyclones going to the line today, Dave. And one thing they did really well yesterday, keep Oklahoma off the line. Sooners yesterday shot less than 20 free throws. That's the number that he'd like to keep Iowa State to today. The Cyclones are the third best free throw shooting team in the country. They hit almost 76% of their free throws as a team. Two-point Cowboy lead. Away, but Owens gets it back. Good weak side help. Now Collins is wide open on the way. Can't get it. Hoiberg with a rebound. Kimbrough pushing it up. Now Mikalik knifing his way in. Well, they've got three guys that can get 20 on you about any time, and then you throw in Hurl Beecham. But Mikalik has outstanding offensive skill. You will probably today hear more noise for the Cyclones. They have many more fans here than the Cowboys do. A decided advantage. Yes. I really think it's not like Hilton, but it's certainly close. Almost a home game. Almost. I was talking to some folks last night in the hotel. They had made the drive up yesterday from Ames. Meekly. No, short. Reeves will track it down. He said, uh, I-35 was busy yesterday. There's a traffic jam coming from the north, from Iowa. Well, they've got Iowa ter State. terrific fans. Well, they really do. Iowa State getting to the finals by knocking off the top seed in the tournament and the second-ranked team in the country in the Kansas Jayhawks. Roy Williams said it's one of the most bitter defeats he has ever tasted at KU. Oklahoma State very patient offensively. There's the position. Good hands. Hoiberg got a hand in there to knock it away. You won't see a lot of transition baskets by either club. Both excellent in getting back on defense and really set, setting in. Kimbrough. Nope. Country almost lost it. Oh, no! Threw it too hard to Owen. Well, Reeves has two points, but also has four turnovers. 
We're tied at five, and we're back after this message from your good friends at Phillips 66. Once that ball goes into the blocks, a lot of Iowa State players able to hurry to Bryant Reeves. Fred Hoiberg with a nice quick left hand. Well, you mentioned Hilton Coliseum almost like it today. They're trying to bring some of that magic from Ames here today to get the Cyclones their first ever tournament title. With Dave Logan, I'm Dave Armstrong at a sold out Kemper Arena, sold out for the ninth consecutive year. And to see the Cowboys already with four turnovers. They've been doing a real good job of taking care of the ball. And a couple of those turnovers have come once the ball has gone inside. Quick hands by the Iowa State defense. They're going to have to collapse, obviously, on Bryant Reeves and try to quick pick that ball out of there. Spots up for a three. Oh, boy. Well, talking about great poise. Catches, just waits for the defender to fly by, stays in three-point range, and knocks down his second in the first half. And that gives him the all-time career three-point record in Big 8 history, passing Terry Evans of Oklahoma. He now has 260 career three-pointers and 127 this year, which is the sixth most in NCAA history. Strong to the hoop. Meekly fighting for the rebound. Here comes Kimbrough. Beecham for a long three. Too short. Gets the long rebound. No, he doesn't. Oh, Owens has got his hands in there. Great quickness by Andre Owens. I think Earl Beecham felt like that ball was going to just come to him, and Owens quick deflection. Maybe not the shot Tim Floyd wanted in that particular case, although Earl Beecham has been on fire from three-point range. Beecham's been doing a better job defensively, too, in this tournament. And getting more playing time because of it. Lauren Meyer has been warned by his coach to stay out of foul trouble today. He thought that was the big difference in the game in Stillwater when Meyer had to sit down with 16 minutes to go in the second half with four fouls. And that's why Country had the chip shot inside. The Cowboys expand the lead to five, which is their biggest. Really working hard on Fred Hoiberg. Roberts! Wow! Well, that's got to be upsetting to Tim Floyd because that's the second consecutive time his club has not got back defensively. A 7 0 Cowboy run. Attempted fewer and made fewer three-point shots than any team in the Big A Conference, but when they shoot them, they've got terrific perimeter scores. Almost 40% from out there. Outstanding percentage. Collins will pull up from three. No. Meyer rips it away from country. Good position. First half action, 12-8 Cowboys. Hoiberg. Oh, boy. The mayor. Two straight three-pointers by Hoiberg, and it's a one-point ball game again. Rutherford. No. Long rebound, though, to Owens. The lob inside the country. No, Mikalik's got it. That ball almost went in off his left hand. Five turnovers for the Cowboys. Oh, 
set play they used yesterday against Kansas. High pick and roll, trying to get Hoiberg to free, but Luka will get a two. The first lead for the Clones. out on him too quickly. You'd rather have him shoot the 17-footer than bang inside. Reeves has attempted five three-pointers this year, has not hit one. But he does have excellent range. And go out there to the free front line, extend it. Poked away by Rutherford, good defense. Good help reading the entry pass all the way from the free throw line. The lob inside, country. The seesaw battle continues here at Kemper. Two very smart teams. And it all goes back to Mr. Iba, doesn't it? Mr. Iba, who, of course, coached Eddie Sutton, who's now the coach of the Cowboys. Also coaching Don Haskins, who was the head coach when Tim Floyd was an assistant. So the line is all tied right to Mr. Iba. Well, Floyd spent eight years as an assistant at, at UTEP in El Paso, and Don Haskins one of the outstanding coaches in the in the country, but a great defensive coach also. And Andre Owens rings the bell from three-point land. And now it's the Cowboys by six. You know, he got off to a slow start yesterday, one for five in the first half, but Owens is going to have some attempts because the defense must sag off and help on Bryant Reeves. <laughs> six-point lead and we're back after this message from Southwest Airlines flying velo for airline just plain smart everyone's being so nice to me honey stay and watch the game I'll go mow the lawn I mean really nice dad I see that she is the both guards for Iowa State both Kimbro and Hoiberg try to dump inside and stop the law pass and Andre Owens gets excellent position this is a case where Meyer picks up the foul, but you just can't reach around a guy who's 295 pounds. And even though that that may or may not be a good call, you've got to try to force yourself not to reach around a big body. Three-point opportunities, the Cowboys have knocked down three of their five. Iowa State two for six. Both of those two by Fred Hoiberg. The three for the Cowboys, two by Rutherford, one by Owens. Watch again the, ac hit a the action inside, away from the ball. You'll see a lot of bodies trying to deny Bryant Reeves. Therefore, people will have open opportunity from the perimeter. Meyer on the bench now. And the man with the job of trying Good. to stop country now is James Hamilton. Two quick players, Kimbrough and Owens. Derek Hayes is taking the place of Pearl Beecham for the Cyclones. Side all that much. Nikolic will not shoot it from almost anywhere. Hayes. Tipped out though. Good play by Hamilton. He's come up large in this tournament. Well, I tell you, he was sensational yesterday rebounding. And the ones he didn't get to, he kept alive against Kansas. Iowa State out rebounded Kansas by 13. He had seven. Shot clock is at 20. Iowa State doesn't mind playing at this pace. Day against Iowa State, he 
has hit 17 of 20 coming into this game against the Cyclones this year. All alone for the rebound is Hamilton. Five of six today. 22 of 26 will get the job done. Won it from the field? Every time. Seven minutes exactly to go until the halftime break. It's 21-15, Tim Floyd trying to get his Cyclones to come from behind. And we're coming back after this from your hometown, Phillips 66 station. Under this bright yellow cap, inside this distinctive black bottle, you'll discover... I talk about why help defense is so important. Brian Reeves will take the injury pass, and you'll see League League is a little bit slow getting there. Matter of fact, he doesn't get there at all. And so Reeves able to turn to the baseline and with that nice, soft touch, knock it down. Reeves has made nine of his last ten field goals in this Big A tournament. Cowboys with the ball on a six-point lead. And oh, first time back in there. First time we've seen a 2-3 zone by Iowa State. And it works. Hoiberg picks it off. Bad pass from Jason Scare. Seven turnovers by the Cowboys. That's helping the Cyclones stay in it. That's the way the Cowboys are shooting it right now. Got to try to get Lauren Meyer involved in this offense a little bit. And he does. Five for Meyer. He's really developed into an outstanding offensive player. I remember seeing him as a freshman and thought he was a great athlete, especially for his size. But his game has improved dramatically in the last couple of years. In the last couple of weeks. <laughs> He's stepped it up, hasn't it? Yeah, he has. Shot clock down to 10. Collins will put up a three. Well, that hurts. When a guy like Terry Collins nails a three on you, you're doing everything to stop Reeves, and then a guy like Collins comes in and shoots it and scores. That's exactly right. Collins is the kind of guy that, although you don't want to just back off completely, you have to give up something with this kind of defense, and if Terry Collins can hit that shot with any kind of consistency, Oklahoma State tough to beat. Four of six from the perimeter. Hoiberg with a runner. Doesn't get it. Reeves falling down. Walked with it. Well, that's a long way down. And a long way back up. <laughs> and Fred Hoiberg forced into a tough runner. And Brian Reeves looks like he has the ball, but then all of a sudden he's kind of got his foot tangled up and look out below. Oh, boy. They play hockey here, and there is ice underneath this floor. I think the ice might have cracked. 5.26 to go till halftime. Now Wallace standing by in Studio 66 with another exciting halftime for you, keeping you updated on scores from around the country. The lob inside, swatted out of there by country. The big country will just turn around in time to see Hayes coming to the basket. Took it right to it. for somebody that size, and that time just tipped the ball to himself. Biggest lead for the Cowboys. Hoiberg. Boy, did they need that three, the Cyclone. What they really need here is a couple of stops. Six of eight from the field for Big Country. Hayes. Oh, hit both sides of the rim. Twenty 
26 17 Oklahoma State. Tim Floyd up telling his club hey run the offense. Too many quick shots the last couple of times now. His first, just the second team foul. 26 17 Cowboys. We'll be back. Inside every one of us is an app. Tree trying to sweep the Cyclones, going 3 0 on them this year, and so far they have the advantage. We take a look at the Burger King stats. Hey, Oklahoma State doing a nice job on the boards, obviously 15 to 9 advantage there. They have out rebounded Iowa State by 21, and that's only offensive rebounds in the first two games that these two clubs got together. This coming on the heels of the Cyclones out rebounding KU by a bundle yesterday. They take a look there, Iowa State 7 of 22, 32%. That's again a testament defensively and they just grind you down wear you down and it helps that they're patient offensively too because it takes time off the clock less time to play defense That's his first, just the team second. Four total fouls in this game. They call Scott Pierce right here. We're trying to pick off Pearl Beecham. Trying to free up Randy Rutherford, who just runs from side to side on the baseline. Iowa State, Dave, looking for their first basket in the last four and a half minutes. And again, unlike yesterday, they haven't been able to get much going inside. That ball's not gone in much. Beecham trying to get it going outside. Welcome relief for the Cyclones. So they need him to get going. He's had 11 three-pointers in the first two games in the Big A tournament. Which is a new tournament record. Dave Seeger of Oklahoma had the old record in 88. And that's gotten the Cyclone faithful back up on their feet. Pierce. Oh, Scott Pierce, who had a big first game in the tournament. It's his first basket here today. Under a minute to go now as you see the time remaining in the first half. Beecham again for three. Oh, wow! He got a great pick that time by J.C. Holloway. Beecham is 11 for 21 on three-pointers in the tournament. 52%. And he's got two today. Rutherford. That'll get the Cowboy faithful on their feet. Now they'll 
still have a chance, but only 1.1 seconds to go. Where the ball is going to be inbound here, you, you need to watch for some sort of lob to the basket, I would think. Oh, he missed. Mikulik, a long three-point attempt, almost got it. Missed Hoiberg, too. Well, keep this in mind as Iowa State and Oklahoma State go to their locker rooms. The Cyclones have not had the halftime lead yet in this tournament and yet have come back to win both of the first two games. Can they come back against the Cowboys? You come back, we'll find out together. Big 8 Basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company. Makers of high quality, super clean gas. Started off hot, hitting his first two shots. They're going to need more of this. He was two for four from three point range, but they're going to have to find somebody that can step up and score some points. Hoiberg missed his last five shots of the half, and Iowa State shooting just 37% as we look at these stats. Brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Yeah. Lilo for airline, just plain smart. And Oklahoma State shooting 59%. So Cowboys doing a nice job of knocking shots down. Iowa State's going to have to get some rebounds. Only nine for the half, and only two on the offensive event when you shoot 37 percent you have to have second and third opportunities they did not get them in the first half cowboys looking for their second tournament title of all time their last one was in 1983 the cyclones looking for their first ever title can the cyclones come back we'll come back and find out this is Big 8 Conference Basketball, and it's brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company, makers of high-quality, super-clean gasoline and Tribartic Premium Motor. Basketball tournament, the leading scorers in the game, a trio of Cyclones with a half dozen. By the way, Lauren Meyer has five, the only four to score for the Cyclones. And for Iowa State, it's again the R&R &R boys, the, the Railroad, Reeves and Rutherford. You see Brian Reeves, in this case, just doing a nice job of tipping the ball almost to himself. And he's got such strong hands. And once he gets inside, of course, he's a big, strong guy. But he does not lose possession of that ball easily. Reeves in the first half, 6 of 8, working hard for position. And Oklahoma State doing a nice job of getting him the ball at the proper time and spot. Look at Reeves' line so far. He has hit about 80 percent of his shots in the big a conference basketball tournament and right now he would be the most valuable player if the cowboys hang on to win this i think one of the keys for iowa state early in the second half can they get lauren meyer involved in the offense he only had four shots in the first half you got to take advantage of him down low and, and force bryant reeves to play some good low post defense most of the cyclone shots have come from the perimeter haven't they yeah and meyer's been too good a player especially offensively lately just to take him out of the offense well, they do try to bust it inside. And then let's see who comes up with it. It's Meyer, but stripped away by Collins. Picked his pocket. Both these teams have used strong second halves. Oh, boy. What's that? A blocking foul on Meyer. That's his second. Didn't quite get there. Two. And one guy they cannot afford to lose is Lauren Meyer. You can see, excellent call, sliding over just at the last moment. Lauren Meyer right there with that right shoulder not set. Pierce can't took advantage of it, yeah. So Meyer with two fouls, only three fouls on the Cyclones in the game. That's the first foul in the second half. So you don't want any, any of those fouls between Lauren Meyer or Tim Floyd because you figure I'm playing Bryant Reeves down low. I'm going to pick up a few fouls just because of his presence. You don't want to give any away on a call like that. Coach Sutton wants this to be a shooting situation. Thought Pierce was driving toward the basket. Instead, it's Oklahoma State taking the ball inbounds from underneath their own hoop. Tim Floyd said, yeah, that's all right. I don't have it out there. Rutherford, a long three. No. Batted out. Rutherford walked with it. Tried to throw it back to Collins and ran with the ball. And Sutton saying, you can go back in the backcourt. That ball was tipped out by Hoiberg, I think. Rutherford was afraid he would go over and back. Do you think 
swing the ball and find Meyer. There he is. Got him again. Beecham. Three-pointer, no. Over the back, James Hamilton. See, Iowa State has got to, when Lauren Meyer gets himself set, they've got to make the entry pass. If you don't make it right on time, it's not going to be there. And essentially, you've taken your dominant inside score completely out of the game because he's not touching the ball. Meyer scored 20 in yesterday's game against Kansas and 25 against Missouri with a strong second half against the Tigers. Iowa State scored just 15 points in the first half of that Tiger contest, the opener of this tournament for the Cyclones, and then they exploded with 53 in the second half with assistant coach Terry Reed at the helm after Tim Floyd had been kicked out of the game. Tip, but no one reacted, and Reeves has got it. Biggest lead for the Cowboys now at 10. Funny story, Tim Floyd, after being kicked out of that opening game, was leaving the arena, and the security guard, who did not know Tim Floyd, said, uh, well, listen, sir, if you leave the arena, you can't come back in. And Floyd said, I don't think they want me back in there, ma'am. <laughs> Technical, here goes Floyd. Remember, he was thrown out of the first game. Stewart thought that Tim Floyd's technicals turned the game around in the first one, and there's the assistant coach, Terry Reed. Well, he's upset about the call he didn't get last time Iowa State had the ball, the inside play. His club did uh, only got to the free throw line twice in the first half. Oklahoma State, this is their first opportunity. Rutherford shoots the two free throws, and the Cowboys will have the ball. Let's see if this lights another fire under the Cyclone. Well, this is what he wanted. James Hamilton takes a nice pass, and he wanted contact right there. He got Big Country up in the air, leaned in a little bit. And that's a call that any coach would want. And especially when you look up and you're 12 points down, you're playing an outstanding defensive team. You only get so many opportunities offensively. Floyd with just one technical that time, not thrown out of the game. If he gets another, though, he'll be gone again. He's got it. Oh, oh boy, is he on fire? Trouble, no weak side help at all. He sets too low and just impossible to stop that shot. Cowboys expanding their lead now, 37-23. Iowa State just has to be patient here, not panic offensively and not forget Lauren Meyer. Rutherford helps out. Kimbrough. Good boy. Hamilton. Whoa, stopped by country, but it up so much it went back off the backboard it'll belong to the cyclones man country just gobbled up that basketball what an excellent rebound but you see as the shot is put back up hamilton has it rejected he's going to keep working <laughs> iowa state has him scored this half now they have Fred Hoiberg takes it to the hole. And a perimeter shooter that time. Nice curl and strong move to the glass. Cyclone fans trying to cheer on their Iowa State club. They've been chanting all weekend, let's go state. They have to change the chant today. That's his second. The Cowboys are tough to shake out of that offense. Even when you really pick it up a notch defensively, they are so patient. Set a lot of picks, and you're just not going to ruffle them. Hamilton, another senior on this Cyclone Club, along with Beecham, Hoiberg, Mikalik, Meyer, and Sean Jackson. Yeah, that doesn't get a lot of playing time now for Iowa State. Six seniors on this Cyclone Club. Four seniors on the Cowboys. Tim Floyd would like to see another second half miracle by his team today. No help. Country again, though, this time can't get it. Myers got the rebound. Yeah, he forced him into a tough shot. Pretty good defense that time by Warren Meyer. Well, they 
play off of Kimbrough. Now Beecham for a three. That's short. Beecham with the long rebound, and it's stripped away. Again, the hands of Collins. And you notice Hurl Beecham from three-point range, hand right in his face. Mm -hmm. Sutton saying we've got to guard that perimeter today. Beecham two of seven from the field. Another foul on Hamilton. James Hamilton has just picked up his third foul all in this half. Or instead, is that on Meyer? I, I think it may be on Meyer. It is on Meyer, and that's his third. That's worst news for the Cyclones. Hamilton was there along with Meyer, but it's Lauren who picks up the foul. Well, the double team again a little bit late. And see, I, I think that's, you could have easily made that call on James Hamilton. That's what I thought when I saw that arm swiping in there. First free throw for country today. First free throw for the Cowboys today. Excuse me, the technical free throws by Rutherford. He hit both of those. Oh, yeah. Country misses one of two this time to the line. Well, look at what Reeves has done, Dave, against Iowa State this year. He's 18 of 21 from the field. That's 86%, averaging 21 a game. And today he's got 17. Eight for 11 today. 26 for 32 for the year. That's not bad. I should say so. See, first time they, they finally made the entry pass. The Tim Floyd up applauding that. Meyer gets excellent position, and you draw a foul. Second on country. And we've got a timeout. 15 11 to go, but the Cowboys have expanded their lead to 13. And we go now to a message from your hometown, Phillips 66. Good things for cars and the people who drive them. Himself, Lauren Meyer gets no help. The catch, the quick turn, and the country is in his house. Oh boy, he's filling it up too. Eight of 11 today from the field, 17 points. And the comparison has certainly favored big country today. Partially due to the fact that Lauren Meyer's not touched it many times. That's true. Boy, it is a smothering defense by the Cowboys, isn't it? That's a great team philosophy, good help defense. You see that time Scott Pierce on the floor gets up, works his way back into the heart of the defense. And that man has always been an excellent coach but especially defensively. You will play defense or you won't play for Eddie Sutton. We talked to him before the game, and we said, what are the keys to the game? And every key that he had was defensively. He didn't talk about offense at all. Well, you can stay in every game. Doesn't matter how, how you shoot. If, you, if you're playing great defense, you're at least in the game. And their teams in six of the last seven games have held their opponents to under 40%. Hoiberg threw one up, but it was after the foul by Pierce, who picks up his second. In the tournament, the Cowboys have held their opponents to 31% from the field, and Tim Floyd knows that all too well. Batted away by Owens, picked up by Pierce. Eight turnovers now on the Cyclones. Boys are looking mighty tough right now. Deontay Roberts has a path to the basket paved by big country. 15-point Cowboy lead. What a start to the second half for them. Beecham pulls up a long, high-arching three. Roy Williams was saying yesterday he thought a few of them were going up in the rafters. That was one of those. Uh, that one was up over the shot clock. Pearl Beecham really confident in this tournament. Beecham with 25 yesterday, 15 against Missouri. All on three-pointers. Reeves again. Oh, good defense by Meyer. Now they get it to Meyer down low. Too strong, but there's Mikali. Pass to Meyer. He pins Reeves under the basket. Even though he misses, Meekly gave him together in the rebound. Timeout, Cowboys! <laughs> so
Cyclones are roaring again, back to within 10, and we're back after this message from Southwest Airlines. Why, the low for airline, just plain smart. When you fly the low fare airline, you can bring your spouse along for free because friends fly free on Southwest Airlines. Or you can bring along your partner. More of nice position by Laura Meyer. They wanted a foul on the play, didn't get it, but Meekalik able to come from the weak side. The shot blocker gone, and Brian Reeves and Iowa State gets a bucket. Remember, no 20-second timeouts in the turn. That was a full timeout taken by the Cowboys. They have two remaining. Iowa State still shooting just 35% while the Cowboys red hot at 57%, mostly because of country. 5-0 run by the Cyclones have given them hope. Rutherford. No! Out of bounds to the Cyclones! And I'm sure in that timeout, Tim Floyd told his club, hey, we battle our way back in it. Defensively, we've been able to do a good job. Our run will come. Play three coming up. Oh, boy. Kimbrough almost had a spectacular basket. Got to finish. Yeah. Acrobatic shot, but you've got to finish. A little more energy defensively for Iowa State. Ooh, almost a steal by Mikuli. Shot clock at 12. Roberts falling, had it blocked by Meyer. All the way up to Hoiberg, baseline, country foul. Strong move to the basket, and Bryant Reeves says not on this play. That's a big body with a significant collision in midair. And then Bryant Reeves reaches down to pick spread up and says, you okay? Those two players have tremendous respect for one another. Do. Reeves, player of the year by the coaches, both team, both players, I should say, on the first team all big eight squad. Now Fred Hoiberg going to the line, an 86% free throw shooter, Hoiberg. And whether this game turns or not, the last 12-18 may very well ride on which big man picks up the fourth foul quickly. Brian Reeves has three, Laura Meyer with three. And brought to you in part by Gillette Sensor Excel in the Gillette series. Gillette, the best a man can get. Hoiberg, he's got nine, a 6-0 run by the Cyclones. Each big man having three fouls. That's going to be a foul on Sean Jackson. His first, trying to put pressure on Roberts. With three fouls on each big man, does each team now, Cowboys have already taken it inside a lot to country, but maybe the Cyclones even put more emphasis on that with Meyer trying to get a fourth on country? Oh, I think so. I mean, I, I think the ball has to go inside for both teams the next couple of possessions just to see if you can get number four. Another foul. John Jackson. That's the sixth team foul on the Cyclones this half. One more, and the Cowboys are in the bonus. Three team fouls on the Cowboys this half. Meyer out of the lineup right now. Meekly trying to guard him in a collision. Trying to set a pick down there is Terry Collins. Meekly ran him over. And Julius Meekly picks up his first foul. That's the 17th foul. Now Collins will shoot. And Laura Meyer cannot sit down too long. Julius Meekly is basically a perimeter player, even at 6'11. He doesn't have the size or bulk to play big country. You can see. Just wound his way into a lot of traffic. So Collins goes to the line. 79% free throw shooter, a senior out of Joliet, Illinois. That's what he did yesterday against the Sooners in the Bedlam series. Cowboys winning that game by 20. Excuse me, not by 20, by 74-58. They beat Nebraska by 20, 68-48. Get up, get up, get up. And he'll get the bonus. Well, while we have a moment, we want to congratulate 
the Colorado ski team. They won their 14th NCAA skiing championship yesterday at Bartlett, New Hampshire. CU's ski team joins Iowa State's cross country team, Nebraska's football team, and the Sooners baseball squad as national champions this year. Collins nails them both, stopping a 6 0 cyclone run. Try to draw Brian Reeves away from the basket. Holloway doesn't shoot it often, but Holloway with a big two there for Iowa State. And again, the cycle is trying to extend that defense a little bit. John Jackson trying to rip that ball away. Well, they have extended that defense. Too far for country. The pass from Scare. A little bit off target. 11 turnovers for the Cowboys. So he picked up his dribble too far from the basket. Boy, Big Country got an excellent position on Mikulik, but the dribble picked up 30 feet from the basket, makes the pass inside a tougher. Mikulik. Hoiberg threw it away. An uncharacteristic turnover for the mayor. Fifty-four to go in this one. 42-33 Cowboys. And that's because of defense right there, that high turnover total for both these clubs. Rutherford will go to the line. He presents such a tough matchup because you know of his ability to score from the outside, but he has the quickness to step by you when you run at him. You see Hayes trying to get in position, but Randy Rutherford with that quick left foot step. Rutherford with 11 today, and here comes the big fella for the Cyclones, Warren Meyer back in. Nikolic will take a little bit of a rest. Beecham back out there, along with James Hamilton. <laughs> Rutherford will get the bonus. Three of three from the line today. <laughs> Cowboys didn't shoot a free throw in the first half. They're nailing them here in the second half. The fadeaway. Oh, that was right on target, but just a little bit strong. Because of Bryant Reeves' size and strength, when Meyer drops step and gets the bump, he doesn't get him to move much. So he's fading from the basket more so than he normally would. Against the Haley Twins in the first game, when he did that drop step, the Haley Twins were moving backward about a half step. The country's not going anywhere. Terrific job of ball rotation by Iowa State. Ball in the corner, one pass, Hoiberg again. The diagonal pass, and Hamilton athletically able to slice his way into the lane. Pierce coming over to help Country out with Lauren Meyer, knowing that Country has three fouls and has to play a little softer, trying to help out, and there's Hamilton wide open, Dave. With Dave Logan, I'm Dave Armstrong. Kemper Arena, the site. The final game of the Big 8 Conference Basketball Tournament. Hamilton gets the shooter's touch. Hoiberg gets a rare break. This is the closest the Cyclones have been in the second half. Ooh, 
after it looked like he twisted an ankle briefly, but he's okay. Well, Iowa State really playing hard on defense. When you score a little bit, it really raises that enthusiasm, that energy on the other end of the court. Country all of a sudden missing. position you can see Derek Hayes just in the wrong place at the wrong time and if you're gonna foul him here boy you better clamp down on him and make him take you and your body to the rim you can't reach in with one arm he's too strong so Reeves at the line one of two today Trying to push it up, and that was a mistake. Here comes Owens. Hoiberg tried to bat it out of there, but Owens took it right to the hole. We're talking about speed. Andre Owens left everybody in half court. Hoiberg almost got him, but couldn't make it. Double team now on Meyer. Kimbrough, no, no shot. The foul on the floor. Foul on Randy Rutherford. That's just his first. Fifth team foul on the Cowboys this half. And we get a break. 7.26 to go in this one. Still very much in doubt. The Cyclones are hanging around, trailing the Cowboys by 10. When you grow up in the American Southwest, once a day you feel a soul-shaking sense of awe. And there's another feeling you get. When the 56 classroom champion, it's Fred Hoiberg, the mayor of Ames, a senior in finance, a GTE COSIDA academic All-American. Fred Hoiberg, Phillips 66, proud to salute athletes who excel in the classroom as well as in athletics. You know, Dave, a snowstorm earlier this week in Ames, Iowa, and the hospital there got a call. Said they were bringing the mayor in. He had injured his finger in a snow blowing accident. And the hospital went into a panic. They said, the mayor, oh no, the Cyclones play later this week in the Big A Conference Tournament. It turned out to be the real mayor of Ames. <laughs> and so the rebounding story, still Oklahoma State with the decided advantage, although this half now, the Cyclones have turned it up on the glass. Yeah, they've done a much better job. They've got seven offensive rebounds. Hoiberg nails the three while he was going down. Wow. Just when you think they're about to leave, they come bouncing back. Boy, KU knows that all too well. Within seven now. Rutherford, he tries to answer no, but the long rebound comes to Roberts. Too deep. Reeves missed a short one. Oh, excellent rebound by Lauren Meyer. Please, please, please. Harvard's foul. That's 
that's on Roberts. Deontay Roberts picks up his first, the sixth team foul on the Cowboys. Jason Kimber to pull the trigger for the Cyclones from underneath their own hoop. trying to get free for a three-point shot, but Andre Owens doing a nice job of playing him close, not helping, but playing Beecham by himself. Kimbrough. Who? Look at the bodies flying. Out of bounds off Pierce. And he'll stay with the Cyclones. Oh, oh, oh. I think it hit Terry Collins as he was laying on the floor, half his body inbounds, the other half out. Tough shot, and then everybody going for the boards. There goes Collins down, and the ball hit him when he was out of bounds. There. And Pierce knocked it into Collins. So the Cyclones will get another crack at it. offensively this half. He's not settling for tough perimeter shots, the tight curl, and you can see the ball fake, and then he has taken it strong to the basket. Terry Collins trying to step to the baseline in time to draw the charge. Hoiberg says his favorite sport is not basketball, not football, where he was a great quarterback in high school, but golf. He said, if I were a better golfer, I'd never play basketball. He misses the free throw, tries the three. Four on him, or is it? No, wait a minute. Myers, Myers, 
Turner got the ball and free throws. The way he was looking, Dave, he came out of there like he was upset, but he wasn't. He just fired up, watched Meyer, bottom of the screen, just work to get position. That's nothing but strength and just wanting the basketball. And Laura Meyer will get two free throws. So the foul is on Keonti Roberts, who picks up his second. Meyer will get the free throws. Nine team fouls on the Cowboys. Meyer will get the bonus. Boy, has he worked hard on the glass this half. That's his first point of the second half, but he has been a big reason the Cyclones have turned it around here lately. First time today that we've seen Oklahoma State break the pressure by going long. And Rutherford goes strong to the glass. Hamilton way in the air. The collision and Randy Rutherford has two free throws. Two guys way upstairs. That's the third foul on Hamilton. Ten team fouls now on the Cyclones. So both teams will be shooting two free throws the rest of the way. Oh, my. Things are really going south for the Cowboys right now. They've missed their last two free throws and really struggling from the field as well. Would you say this place is energized right now? Like the bunny. <laughs> It was touched by a cyclone by Meyer as it was on the rim. Well, we've talked about finishing, and that time Iowa State, with a chance to draw to within one, just could not finish. Pressure has really bothered Oklahoma State. Well, it has. They played with such poise, but here lately, they have become a little bit rattled by this cyclone torrent. Rutherford for three. Oh, that was a big basket for Oklahoma State. No hesitation either. Not at all. The lead had dissipated a little bit. Randy Rutherford catches. Beecham goes for the steal. Doesn't get it. He knocks the three down. Hoiberg for three. No. Hamilton almost had the rebound, but instead it's Keontae Roberts. 52-48, a four-point contest. Three and a half to go. Will Iowa State win their first ever Big A tournament title? Will the Cowboys win their second? Oh. Tipped by Meyer and almost went in. The Cowboys haven't won a title since 83, their only title. Cyclones for them, their third time in the finals. They haven't won one yet. 3.17 to go in regulation. What's going to happen? We'll find out after this from the performance company, Phillips 66. Interference call. Well, let's take a look. James Hamilton has got to finish that one. He does, and the ball's tipped on the rim. I, I think that the controversy now, as you see the shot waved off, is whether or not they actually gave two points to Iowa State. Eddie Sutton, during the timeout, adamantly talking to the officials and pointing to the scoreboard. I think he feels like the, the points went up on the board. Hamilton to the glass. See, the ball's tipped on the rim. All right, then the tip goes in, but the basket is waved off. Right. So I think what Coach Sutton is talking about now is Iowa State should have 46 instead of 48. The scoreboard stands right now, 52-48, 3.17 to go. Sutton still at the scorer's table, upset. They've taken two points off. Now they have. So it's a six-point Cowboy lead now. Now Tim Floyd over at the scorer's table. And he wants to make sure this score is accurate. So Eddie 
Sutton winning his case here in court. He got the two points subtracted. The scorer's table had given credit to James Hamilton for the basket. You clearly saw the basket interference. So our new score is 52-46. The Cyclones with the basketball trailing by six with 3.17 to go. It may not be a popular call here at Kemper with the Cyclone faithful, but it's the correct call. Just picked up number four. And it's going to be an interesting three minutes and eight seconds to wrap this thing up. The nice penetration, and then Meyer draws Reeves as he leans in and just can't quite get the shot to go down. Laura Meyer felt like he was going to get one free throw instead of two. Reeves helps, tries to get back. There's the bump, but the ball won't go. More importantly, as you said, four fouls on Brian Reeves. Now they're really going to pound it inside on him. for the third best free throw shoot, shooting team in the country. Meyer gets the second one. He is four of six from the line. And the lead cut to five. Collins looking for some help. Finally gets it to Rutherford. Offensive foul. That's on Rutherford. Pushing off. Pinched in the backcourt. Not a lot of contact there. Rutherford obviously didn't like the call. So the Cyclones trailing by five. A chance for them to inch some closer. But Iowa State's been able to frustrate Oklahoma State with that full court pressure. They've gone to it in the second half and really have, have worked it nicely. Got to try to pound that ball inside if you can. Oh, good drive, but the pass was off target. And Andre Owens again gets a hand on the basketball. He's done that several times today. And we called it in the beginning saying this game would be in the 50s or low 60s, and that's right where we're at. You see the time remaining and the score. Shot clock is at 10. And Reeves with Meyer trying to front him. A good lob pass inside. Yeah, he sealed him at the free throw line, a little higher than normal, but no weak side help again. Hoiberg for three. Oh, is he something else? 18 for Hoiberg, timeout Iowa State. We'll take it with him. The Cyclones have been coming back time and time again. Can they make one final comeback? It's happening. Only the people who invented America's best-selling minivans could have a sale like this. A little bit late getting there, Reeves to the basket by himself. And here, Terry Collins goes underneath the screen, which allows Fred Hoiberg a good look from three-point range. Hoiberg with 18 points today, and Eddie Sutton not happy with the defense as those two teams went to timeouts, respectively. Sutton very unhappy with Terry Collins. Hoiberg picking up where Pearl Beecham left off in the first two games. Hoiberg three of three from three-point range this half. Four of six overall this half after a 2-4-7 field goal shooting first half. 54-50 Cowboys. 2.08 to go. Cowboys trying to win their first title since 83. Now, no need to foul here. Just play good defense. You're under two minutes. You're in a four-point game. You don't want to give up a foul. Oklahoma State would be ever so patient, especially with Iowa State now kind of backing off a little bit defensively. See the time remaining in the game. The shot clock is at 15. Deontay Roberts takes it right at Meyer and takes it strong. Mm -hmm. Back to a six-point Cowboy lead. And another timeout taken by Iowa State. That's their second. They have just one remaining. 
Now the sellout crowd here at Kemper Arena on the edge of their seat, right down to the final moments, a minute 35. You come back and watch it with us. Ever been Part to the second half to pull away from the Cyclones. The Cyclones trying to inch closer. You see now Iowa State with no timeouts remaining. I thought they had one. My mistake. The Cyclones with no timeouts. Cowboys still have two. If there's a tie-up, the Cyclones would get the ball. Do you need to go for a three right now? Well, if you can get a good look with either Hoiberg or Beecham, you're probably going to take it. There's Beecham, a long three. A little bit strong in Roberts. That thing was on the money just a little bit long. Now you know what the Cowboys are going to try to do. Eat some clock here with you watching that time remaining in the corner. Oh, it's so low to the ground. Tough to get a chance to deflect that ball. The shot clock is at 13. Doesn't turn it over much. Shots. The last two times down, tough shots. One by Roberts, one by Collins. Hoiberg talking about tough shots. Can't get it. Meyer had it stripped away, but a foul on Rutherford. Randy Rutherford picks up number three, and Lauren Meyer will go back to the line. Three-point range of Meyer, who has really worked hard this half, has the ball deflect to his hands. Rutherford from behind reaches in. Laura Meyer has not probably had as many touches as, as he would like, but he's worked extremely hard on the boards. The free throw shooting for Iowa State, that's an aberration for the Cyclones, a team that shoots 76% from the field. We talked about it early, line, I mean. early in the game. One of the things that Oklahoma State stressed coming in was keeping Iowa State off the free throw line. They've been able to do it today. They did it yesterday against Oklahoma. There was some concern that with Kansas, Missouri, Kansas State all gone, that attendance may be down for the championship game. Well, let me tell you, 17,153 here for the game, which is the largest ever for a championship game. And that's a tribute, obviously, to the fans of these respective schools. Iowa State with just tremendous following driving down from Ames even last night. Good hustle. The miss, now they're going to call the tie-up, which means the arrow pointing towards the Cyclones. So the miss, really a good one. Well, we had it earlier that it was supposed to be to the Cyclones. Well, let's see what the call is going to be. They do call the tie-up. And the ball will go to the Cowboys. We had it towards the Cyclones, but instead it will go to Oklahoma State. And here's where you try to deny the pass inbounds, obviously, but you need to foul right away. You can't be too picky as to who gets the ball. Collins. And now Terry Collins will go to the line. He is two of two from the stripe today. Well, it's as simple as this. If the Cowboys hit their free throws coming down the stretch, most likely they will win their second Big A tourney title. And the first for Brian Reeves, Randy Rutherford, Terry Collins, Scott Pierce, the seniors of the Cowboys. the bids later today, Dave. I don't think there's any suspense. The Big Eight's going to get five teams into the March dance, including Iowa State. Tim Floyd, not sure, saying, well, I've lived on the bubble my whole life when I was at New Orleans and Idaho, and I'm not going to count on it yet. I'll tell you what, though, Iowa State with such a great performance in the tournament, I mean, they knock off Kansas in the semifinals. They play Kansas three times this year, beat them twice. That almost alone should be enough to give you a strong consideration in the NCAA tournament when you get that number of wins to go with it. I think the bubbles pop. They're off the bubble. They're in. And it looks like Oklahoma State may be in. 34 seconds to go. The Cowboys have the nine-point lead.
Oklahoma State winning in 1983. They won that game in overtime, beating Missouri 93-92. Well, you think of all the times the Cowboys have been in the finals, three of the last four years, and now to not only climb the mountain, but to be able to plant the flag at the top of the summit, that's good stuff for Oklahoma State. And speaking of stuff, let's take a look at our Pizza Hut stuff of the game. Oklahoma State, again, late in the game. Terry Collins with a tough shot. Fred Hoiberg right in his face. Collins knocks it down and knows that that may be enough. He finishes the game, or finishes at least for the time being, with nine points. That brought to you by Pizza Hut. You'll love the stuff we're made of. Been a terrific tournament again. A slow start to it on Friday. But yesterday, that scintillating game between Iowa State and Kansas to start things off in overtime, and then Oklahoma State a very workmanlike effort for Eddie Sutton's Cowboys throughout this tournament. Stopping Nebraska in the opening round by 20. And then stopping Oklahoma in yesterday's contest. And today, so far, stopping the Cyclones. is fouled, so Owens will go to the free throw line, a 75% free throw shooter on the year. Now Eddie Sutton will have his first tournament title. Our hats off to these Cowboys. They are tournament ready and tournament tough. Yeah, they're going to be tough for anybody. Just because of the way they play basketball, the way they play the game. They keep coming at you. They give you nothing easy. They've got a great player in Bryant Reeves, an outstanding player in Randy Rutherford. I, I would not want to catch them early in the NCAA tournament. Reeves, your tournament MVP? Probably so. Yeah. Reeves with another outstanding day today. Coming off a performance yesterday in which he scored 28 against Oklahoma. And in big country today, finishing with 21. with Terry Collins' foul at 10.7 seconds to 